This is Inside the Film Room, powered by Echo Power Engineering. Another episode of Inside the Film Room. I'm your host, Bree Houston. We're joined with none other than our head coach, Scotty Walden. Coach, double overtime victory. Did you guys chase the lion? We, we chased the lion big time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Bree, we, I'm still... Heck, you know, that was one of those games that uh, it was, heck, it's so much fun. I, I got, we got done playing and I got on the bus. Heck, I, I felt like I played a game. I mean, I was so, I'm sore. Our, I think our coaches are sore. I mean, we're, <laughs> we're, just, I mean, we're, we're still catching our breath, but, uh, you know, I, I wish we could, we could make them easier. But, uh, you know, that was, that was a fun one to be a part of. I'm just glad the Govs came out on top, but give all the credit in the world to our guys and the fight that they had on the road, the resiliency that they showed. Um, our coaching staff for putting together a great plan. And then I, I think they did a great job during the week of uh, getting that plan to our players and then give our players all the credit in the world for going out. We talked about playing all four quarters together and we, we didn't know that we'd be challenged with double overtime on top of that. So, uh, you know, our guys responded really well and uh, they went and definitely chase that line. Talk about the performance of Draylon Ellis and Benico Harley. Yeah, that was fun to watch uh, when, when a quarterback and receiver kind of get in harmony like that. You know, that's a lot of fun to watch. And like, and like I said, the passing game is, you know, uh, something that is developed year round. And we've only been here about three months. And the amount of we're a rep based offense. So the amount of reps start to finally accumulate. You know, I'd say Draylon probably throws anywhere from, you know, 100 and you know, 20 to over 200 passes every practice, you know, somewhere around there, including air and, you know, our team reps. And that's that's because of our pace and, and things like that. And I think over the course of time, you're starting to see, you know, the chemistry start to develop with those receivers. And um, Benico Harley is a hard guy to guard. He's big, he's physical, he's athletic. And, uh, and then I thought Draylon did a great job of being composed, staying in the pocket and giving him a chance. And uh, that was really, really fun to watch. Very proud of those two guys. Now I'm joined with freshman quarterback Draylon Ellis. Draylon, you had a record perform record breaking performance Sunday against Semo. Can you take us through your most memorable scoring play? Uh, I think the most uh, memorable scoring play was the la was the last touchdown in overtime. The second overtime when we scored. I told my D just get a stop and let's win this thing. That's probably the most memorable one I had. Now you're a true freshman. Last year you were playing high school football. What's the difference between high school football and college football? I just feel like players are like more experienced. Uh, they're better, just like stronger, oh. faster, smarter. Uh, I just feel like they're more competitive, so it makes it harder. What adjustments have you had to make to compete at this level? Uh, I feel like I had to just get comfortable, uh, just slow down, um, just trust what the coach is uh, installing. What's the hardest part about being the quarterback? Can't do anything wrong. You got to be the leader of the team. You got to make sure you're doing everything right. Make it, make sure everything's precise. That's probably the hardest. Now, what's the funnest part? Being a leader of the team, like everyone looking to you uh, just to make a play or just to being a leader. Uh, it's fun, like just having all the support from a team. Thanks so much for joining us. And we want to wish you all the best and hope you continue to break records this season. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. This has been Inside the Film Room, powered by Echo Power Engineering.